Hey, Mark fired up. Mark's already gone. <laughs> he woke up at five. MDJ woke up at five this morning. It doesn't even get light till seven now. Seven o'clock. We're 20 minutes from the lake. <laughs> fired up. What's that old saying? He's gonna meditate on the they, shore like no, they Rick come. Fun. They coming. <laughs> it's 78 degrees. They come. <laughs> but lucky they did come last week at Okeechobee. <laughs> lucky they, they did come they last week. They just don't last. Hey, Loki. Oh, I'm gonna keep it honest. I'm gonna go blind me some stuff around. Just see if someone's up there and slid around. I ain't been to Florida in 12 years. I've actually, actually, actually been up there. It's unbelievable. We shall see. Today might be the day. Today might be the day. So, first day of practice starts today. And we got some work to do, so. I got these bibs on, not because it's gonna like rain, just because I didn't put a cover on my boat last night. It's a little damp. So, we got some work to do. We'll we'll find some eyes. Try, try, try to break this, try to break this. Try to break it. It's some, some stupid not VJ ties. You're gonna break it. You can't break it. Why? He's got this real one backwards. I'm trying to get my bra back. Oh my. Here, cut it off for me. That ain't gonna be a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I tried cutting it, but. Dude, there ain't no way. There you I go. Think a, I think a five carrier braid. Here, just, just hold that braid real tight. Yeah, I, I got a butter knife. Here. <laughs> <laughs> butter knife. Got ah! It got it, so. When it's out, you still cut 50 pound braid with a knife. A butter knife. Butter knife. It's, right. like, it's like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a 50 year old? <laughs> okay, Peppy. Everybody in this coffee, okay? Literally. Not everybody, but a lot. They literally will put their coffee in their cup and then they'll, and then, well, they put the coffee in the cup, then they put cream in there and they use a stir to stir it. How about you just put the cream in there and then when you put the coffee in there, done. That's, that's literally a big pet peeve. I see people do that. I'm like, that is completely backwards. I guess if you're trying to like get your ratio right, but if you drink the same cup of coffee every single day, just put it in there, let the coffee brew, no stir. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I, I see you all the time on TV. They, they hide, they hide pretty good. They hide pretty solid. Officially day one of practice, officially over. Sorry guys, I did not bring you along for the day one. We were running around. I'm gonna bring you tomorrow, which you guys get to see the best weather. Oh, what do you got, DC? Should've been here two weeks ago. Listen, two weeks from now, they'd be up there spawning. Oh, I mean, two weeks ago, they were probably there. <laughs> hey, listen, oh. you ain't gonna believe this. AJ Jr., right? Yeah. So I walked by him at the boat ramp. AJ walks by me. I said, man, I said, well, they just crawling on the bank everywhere. They just blowing up on everything, ain't they? He said, nah, it's cold front. It's going to help them. <laughs> Listen, y'all can't have it both ways now. Because if a cold front hits, everybody's all doom and gloom. Oh, it's cold front. It never fails. And then when it's too hot, they're like, we need a cold front. No, <laughs> you need to drain this piece of, ooh. <laughs> 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 and there you go. So, always cry and whine. This looker's probably gonna win the tournament. You watch. <laughs> always how it is. It doesn't matter. He's always crying. It never changed. Something's never changed. <laughs> like we were saying, fishing overall was, was not easy. It was not. 
Now they did bite a little bit today. I did not fish the way that I feel like they would have bit today. Like they were up there shallow chomping. I did get like 15 bites on a swim jig, but they were all like that big. And that's not gonna do a whole lot for us. So we got uh, we got plenty of room to grow. I don't. I'm not exactly even sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. To be honest with y'all. So we're just gonna sort of wing it. In consistent fashion, the curse continues. And I'm not talking about the one Brody being in the boat. We broke that one the last tournament. It's actually the weather curse for practice. 20 to 30. 20 to 30 mile an hour sustain. Sustain. Coom cow is what that's gonna be. So we got plenty of wind, so. And this is not the best place to have wind, so. That's what it is. I, think what, I still think it's gonna be warm enough though. I'm not exactly sure how you're gonna catch them. You're only gonna catch them on the way, whichever way it's blowing. You better be on that side. It's gonna be jam packed. Freaking guaranteed. Watch out. 40 boats sitting in the same freak on the west shoreline. <laughs> on every lake. That's how it's gonna be. You already know. Dark mosquitoes. You're like, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, I ain't heard from DC. Good luck, you get a little worried about that. No, what these boys do. Yeah, I caught a six pound ten Keep moving. Okay, so guys, we got on a little bit of something right here. We caught a couple jerkin, which, I mean, I don't know if it's, might be, I don't know what's going on really for sure, but basically just going around and jerking jerk bait around. A lot of them just locking up on it first thing in the morning is a good time to catch them too. Just sort of keep my eyes open to see if I see something, but Let's see here. I just feel like that cold front, if you can find pre-spawn, post-spawn fish. I mean, it's not much of a cold front though. That's the that's the problem. It's not like, I mean, I could see it affecting them a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna affect them as much as everybody thinks it is. Like, you know, like we've had cold fronts down here where it's like high as 60, you know, so. 
I think they're going to rebound pretty quick, and we're going to be sitting here like, well, dang. They smashed them <laughs> again. We just went through this last week. It dang, I just went through this last week. At the show. So we'll find out though. Okay, so, so far we've caught a couple bass. Not that great, wind's starting to blow pretty good. Rushing on the east, well, rushing on the west side like everybody else, but wind's blowing from the west. We're on the west side, more protected, but it's definitely blowing on that other side. I mean, you can't tell right now, but it's choppy right out there. So, we're gonna run around and see if we can't uh, make the most of these next few hours. We have uh, eight hours to find the winning area, so. <laughs> Thank you. Man. <laughs> oh, just a couple of them, not very good. Alright y'all, that is a wrap on practice, woo, woo, Super Bowl's tonight, so that's the positive, it was cold, windy, temperature dropped, woo, wasn't easy, that's for sure, you guys have to see a little bit of it, we're gonna head back and hear the practice report from the guys. Just as much weight on Lake Martin, I promise. <laughs> hey, don't believe me? Watch. Why? Don't believe me? Watch. <gasps> what about it? Still want it? Still want to take? Huh? It's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna take 18 pounds. 18 pounds to get paid. Yeah. A day. No. Total. Two days. No, you're. Here. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. No, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna. It's not gonna take more than 22 pounds. It's not. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say. Yeah, 22 pounds. It's gonna say 22. All right. I got. I got. I got to make a bet real quick here. Hold up. Hey, you, you put the bet on the game? Not yet. You Hold up. Yo. <laughs> this place is trash. Who do you have in the game? Oh, you gotta take the birds, man. 
birds all the way. Hey, we're taking birds two and a half, five grand. Five grand. Keep the hat. Oh yeah, hey. You know you repping the, the gang, bruh. Ripping lips his squad. My dogs. Let's go, BJ! Right, right. You're a hardcore fan. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Yeah, this is a West Pro. That's right. Hey, BJ put her off the jersey today. It was like, Adrian, you know, if you catch a good one, you can put the jersey on. We can shoot a little video, maybe take a photo. <laughs> Biggest one I caught was like, this big. This big. <laughs> and then he got off the water and like, one. He yeah. said, heck with it. He's on him so good. He said, I'm out of here. <laughs> heck with that place, man. What's the bets on the score tonight? I don't know, but the only thing good that lake was for is freaking Windburn. What lake? <laughs> Dude, oh, Windburn. Hey, look at DC right now. <laughs> look, look, look at my man. <laughs> Burn up. Hey, look, I love just going down the bank in Florida. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm highly convinced that they do not ever, ever get shallow in Florida. <laughs> Other than like April, we're not here. April. No, I'm not playing. April. Like, if I had to live here, if I had to live here, if you had to. I would move. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had to live here, I'd be the best offshore fisherman ever because them some guns never get on the bank. <laughs> Comment below. They ever, do they ever, can you ever catch them on a frog in Florida? Well, I did last week. Yeah, but you're on a real fishery. <laughs> One that's like historically the bomb, Okeechobee, the big O. But it was it still it was the bomb. I it mean, was, it was I was just about to say ten or like twelve years ago. Oh my gosh! Just run the horny pond and just wind your stuff around. You are gonna catch a couple big. Unbelievable! Ones. Yeah, it was unbelievable. That was real fish. Horny pond was like well, like the damn. It was it was literally it was the probably the prettiest. Probably 300, 3,000 acres of, of grass fields I've ever seen in my entire life. Was it? And that I was look. a great thing. It, it would swallow 50 boats. Oh, yeah. Swallow. There is bass everywhere. Here's the now they got to spawn on a freaking, <clears throat> on, on a name, butt bush. Yes. <laughs> here's the thing. So, like, there's so many bass that it was so healthy that yeah. then they had Absolutely. good areas to spawn at, hard bottom. They had everything, right? And all them fish come in from the lake and they just, they, they lived there. It was almost like a big giant residential bay with bass that just lived in there year round. Here, I, I'm highly convinced one week out of the year they get on the bank and then they leave. Yeah, the only time it ever goes down is when like Dean Rojas caught them and you have cold front after cold front for like a month and a half and then it warms up and they all go. Well, here's and in my opinion, this is what happens in Florida. Like when it's warm like this, like it's been warm like this. It's a it's trickle. A it's a trickle spawn. It's a, it's a trickle spawn. Yep. Ten of them go up. Ten of them slide back. Ten of them go up. Ten slide back out. They slide. They just slide throughout three, four months. It's not like in in Indiana where it's like all done in, in a month span or three weeks. Yeah, I can see that. That's what. That's what it is. It's Florida. That's where it is. <laughs> what's that? What's that old? What's that old chant? Overrated. <laughs> That's Florida for you right there. I don't care who, if you're from Florida, your your state's overrated fishing. I don't care. Drain the. Oh. Throwing, throwing chatterbait. It's all a heat thing. Like, Flipped it to the other side. I've never seen so much heat. Yeah, I've never seen so much heat. Somebody talk. They just call. They want their money. <laughs> <laughs> No, that, 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 that was on that. That was on that. The biggest bid on this game was probably a couple million dollars. They had the Chiefs by like 10. All right. So, Super Bowl, pretty solid. I thought if you watch the Super Bowl, I don't know about that holding call thing. I'm just saying, let, let, let the guys play. Let the guys play. It was uh, Adrian, obviously, was furious. I mean, we were watching it, and it was I, I, it was skeptical. It was skeptical. I'm just saying that. You just don't make. You don't want the whole thing to be determined on on a play like that, you know. 
especially when the guy maybe you might not have caught the ball more than likely wasn't catch the ball anyway anyway so bringing it back in today was our day off um day one of the tournament was today with group a now we are group b this week the whole house is the first time ever the whole house has been group b that being said um the weights today were pretty dang solid they caught them a lot better than I'm not gonna say I anticipated because I thought it was gonna be solid, but better, okay, just to give you an understanding, like the best I've ever seen the weights here for a cut was 13 and a half pounds, and that was like on a full moon, warming trend, all this stuff, not in the middle of a cold front. Um, second best weights were about 12 pounds a day. Like that's for the cut. I'm not saying, you know, first place, the cut typically. So you sort of go off of that from the historical aspect of a body of water, when it can be great, when it can be bad, all that stuff. Well, basically 12 pounds, I think right now, is like right there on the cut line. So. We're gonna have to catch them. I mean, it could take 13 pounds. I mean, this this crew, especially the fact you have to also factor in there's only 40 guys in the water, so they have the whole body of water. The place will fish larger, which then therefore doesn't split the fish up as much and could bring the weights up. So that's something that you have to add in there because it's like every fish counts. We were sort of like, oh, you know, it's gonna take 20 scoreables a day or 10 scoreables a day, something like that. It was a little bit easier to sort of now your mindset's got to change because the weights. Anyway, so that's where we're at, and now we're gonna tackle. Um, Overall, we just, hey, got to come up with a game plan. I don't, I'm not exactly, Mark's out here reeling bass in. We're staying right here at this Airbnb and Mark's in this little lake reeling bass in. Mark and Adrian, we're over here just freaking tackling. We're losing. We're falling behind. You did go to Disney World this morning though. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so in addition to that, I, um, this morning I, 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 Olivia, you know, she said, I'm coming for you, daddy. So I said, okay. So they uh, they showed up late last night, and we got to go to Disney World. And I'm gonna show you this little clip of Olivia driving. Oh no! Start too early. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, Olivia, what are you gonna say about your driving? Yeah, so she she's not that great a driver. Yeah, she's not. We got. I'm I'm a little worried to be honest. A little worried, but uh, we're gonna we're just we got a few more years to, to teach her. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> got some years. She was on a track and it just like coosh, coosh. I'm like, no, go right. Which I mean, I she's not on right and left, but I'm like, this way. We're gonna start at Disney World. We're gonna start driving the Ranger around, you know, and by 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 16. <gasps> Let's hope it's good. 